Good day, AI enthusiasts. I'm Babs, your host for today's AI News Roundup, bringing you the latest developments in the world of artificial intelligence. From breakthroughs in machine learning to the impact of AI on various industries, we've got it all covered. Stay tuned for your daily dose of AI updates. Our news for today includes, the humane AI pin worked better than I expected until it didn't. The Verge, left and woke, Americans blast bias in AI chatbots, but some still find new tech useful. Fox News, how would an AI turn out if you raised it like a child? Ars Technica. And how AI is already transforming the media, Politico. Let's jump into the headlines. I finally got to spend some face-to-face time with the humane AI pin. And despite my initial doubts, it's actually a darn cool gadget. The pin is a standalone device that uses generative AI to answer your questions and keep you connected while unplugging from screens. It projects menus and text onto your palm for interaction and has impressive features like vision recognition and gesture navigation. However, it also has its frustrations, such as waiting for off-device AI responses and occasional overheating. The laser projection on the hand is clear but not perfect, and living with the pin in different environments raises questions. Overall, the pin is a gadget with potential, but it's not the revolutionary lifestyle device that Humane's marketing makes it out to be. Backlash over Google's AI chatbot exhibiting political bias has Americans divided on whether to trust AI for answers. Some find the technology interesting and helpful, while others are skeptical due to inaccuracies and bias. The controversy surrounding Google's Gemini program, including its indecisive answers to moral problems, has raised concerns about the reliability of AI. However, some individuals, particularly younger generations, regularly use AI technology and find it useful. The debate continues as to whether AI can be trusted or if users should double-check the information provided. A team of NYU researchers fed an AI algorithm first-person video footage taken by a baby named Sam to see if it could learn like a child. The AI learned to recognize objects in images but struggled with certain concepts and word associations. The researchers found that the AI didn't perceive the experiences the same way as the child, causing learning artifacts. Despite the limitations, the study demonstrated that AI can effectively learn from limited, individualized experience, laying the groundwork for future advances. The goal is to understand what makes humans more sample efficient and use that to build smarter machines. The article discusses the impact of AI on the news industry. It highlights how AI is already being used in newsrooms for tasks such as writing headlines, managing paywalls, transcribing, and fact-checking. The author interviews Felix M. Simon, who emphasizes that AI has the potential to improve news accuracy and timeliness, but its impact depends on how it is used. Simon also mentions that AI cannot replace human skills like building trust and rapport with sources. The article explores the challenges and opportunities of AI in newsrooms, including the customization of news content and the reinforcement of inequalities among news outlets based on resources. Overall, the future of AI in journalism is uncertain and will depend on the decisions made by news organizations. Thanks for tuning in to today's AI News Roundup. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more juicy AI updates. If you want to catch up on any news you missed, be sure to check out one of the other videos on screen. And hey, why did the AI break up with its girlfriend? It just couldn't find the right connections. See you in the next video.